Hi, I'm Karen and welcome to Tech Talk. Today, I'm going to show you how to upload Canva stories to your Instagram and Facebook. So come and check it out. So last time I showed you how to use a shared template link and how to edit it and how to download it. So now I'm going to show you how to upload it to Instagram and Facebook. So let me just pull up uh, Canva here. Okay. All right. So this is my Canva and I'm using Google Chrome. And so if you notice, um, after I've clicked download, which was just right up here, um, when it was finished downloading, it went down here. I'm just going to drag this onto my desktop and my file will be there. So I'm just going to do that on my end, drag it there. I am going to close that. Okay. So there's my desktop. Okay, there's my file. It's saved on my desktop right there. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can do this. Okay, if you want to be able to add all these extra features with um, your stories, then you kind of need to do it on your phone. So now the trick is trying to get that file from your computer onto your phone. So depending on if you have compatible devices, I'm using a Mac desktop and a Samsung phone. Um, it's a little bit of a pain to transfer files. You can have an external drive, you can do lots of different things. But what I usually end up doing is messaging it to myself. So this is what I do. So one of the easier ways to do this is just open up your Facebook, go to the message at the top and message it to yourself. So I am right there and I'm just going to click on the file. So now I'm gonna show you on my phone what is going on here. Okay, so this is the fun stuff. Okay, so I'm going to go to my messages. Go to just me, there we go. All right, so this is my file, right? It's right there. With the four pages in that template, it's not too big of a file that I can send it through Messenger. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm going to download it. There's a little arrow with a line underneath it. When I tap on it, click on that and now it's downloading. Save video, so now it's gonna be in my gallery. So now I can get out of Messenger. And now I'm gonna to go to Instagram. Okay, so not to Facebook. There's not as many options with Facebook for stories. So we are going to Instagram. And in the settings, you can actually link uh, your Facebook and your Instagram. You can actually link it. So I'm going to go to this at the very top. You'll see a little plus sign story. And then I'm going to down at the bottom. It's a white screen. It's a white screen because um, in the gallery, this particular template is going to start with a white screen. So that might just throw you off a little bit. It's going to fade into an image. So I'll we'll click on that. And you'll see at the bottom there, there's the four pages that are gonna be 15 seconds each. All right, so this is where you can play with stuff. So if you go up to where it has the three stars at the top, so you could have different effects, you just scroll over. If you want different things going on, snowflakes, so there's different features that you can really just make it your own. You could have lots of different fun and do something like that. That's kind of different, kind of fun. Sure, why not, right? Okay, so we'll click that. Well, maybe that's too much. <laughs> 
Yeah, that'll be too much. This one will just be a few little sparkles. You can't see it too much. So let's try this. Oh, there we go. There we go. Some nice little bursts of sparkles. Yeah, if I had that big flashy color one, then if I try to put a pull stuff on there, it's too much. <laughs> too much. Don't want to do that. What's your favorite? So I'm going to go up to, um, did you see that? There is a little square happy face. This is where you have a lot of options. You can put your location, you can tag somebody, you can even, this is so handy down here, see the link? You can link your Facebook page, your website, uh, your newsletter, anything with that. So that's awesome. Here's the poll. Okay. So you don't have to write where it says, ask a question. You don't have to, because I already kind of have that in the template. So let's say apples, I can type, or strawberries, hmm, normally gets smaller, but doesn't fit. Let's see, that doesn't look good. Let's put a break in there, strawberries. Okay, and now we can move it down here. We can resize it by using two fingers on the screen. All right, so people can actually tag this. Okay, and I'm just going to put um, hashtag on here. So I'm gonna put Hashtag tutorial. All right. Because we're going to actually upload this and it is not November. So I thought I would just put that up there. So now we're going to go to the second page. So click at the bottom on the second little rectangle and your second page will come up. So grab it while it lasts. So let's find something fun to put down there. So let's see. You notice you can also put music in here. This template has music, but this has a lot more options for music and modern music. So it's kind of fun to use their music. Let's see. Well, we could just put sound on so they can hear our music. If you don't like that, just drag it to the middle and the bottom to their little garbage can and then try again. So let's see, what should we do? Let's do a GIF here. So let's do hurry. And just scroll through. Oh, a clock. That's nice. Look at that. All right. I like that. We don't need to do anything else with it or it ends up being too, too busy. So I'll go to the third page. All right. Awesome specials this month. We don't need to do anything there. This is where you can add extra text. But we don't need to do that at the moment. So let's say you wanted to, you didn't like the template sound and you wanted to add your own music, you could turn that off. And then you could go into here and add music. Okay, so let's say we want that instead. We can change the color of it. There we go, get green. Then with two fingers, resize it. I like to make it small. Um, the thing with Instagram music is that you do have to give credit to the performer. Trying to get that lined up even. Uh, you do need, need to give credit. So I just put it 
somewhere nice in, in the corner and I make it smaller. Um, you can also have options where you have the lyrics pop up. Okay, so with this one, you can see there's more options here down here. This one. So you can kind of pick if you want to have the lyrics there or if you just want a little box that kind of just shows who the singer is and their the title or a picture like that. Just an extra little bonus. Kind of fun to do that sometimes too. Let's go back and turn our original music back on. And let's go to the fourth page of our template. Uh, comes in pantry cans. Now we're going to do a poll question. We want to really try to engage people. So we're going to go back to the little square with a smiley face. We're going to go to a poll or a question. Let's do a question just to mix things up a little bit. Here you go to the little color circle at the top and you can uh, just tap it and get to a different color that matches what you want. Ask me a question. So let's see, need help setting up your delivery, question mark. Done, I can resize it by using two fingers. Now when they answer this question, it's gonna go into your messages and you put it right down there. And then we are done, unless you want to add anything else. Okay, so now we are going to go to next. This is going to um, post it, okay? So you can see right here, I have your story and Facebook story. So I actually have them connected in the settings. I can show you later how you can do that. Um, but I have it so that unless I say otherwise, um, it's gonna post in both places. And then I just click share. So now if I go to my stories at the top here, my Instagram stories, it might take a little bit of time to upload, especially if it's a video. There we go. So this is actually on my story now. And I put tutorial, a tutorial. <laughs> so the tutorial, well, that's all right. And this is how you upload a Canva template to your Instagram and Facebook stories. So I hope this has helped. Now, if you want to add more, like that second link, um, template link with additional four pages of stories, um, you just repeat the same process and put it up there. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Uh, this is the way I like to do it and I find it fun. Okay, so I pulled up my Facebook. I'm just going to scroll up to the top and when I have a blue circle around my, my profile picture, it means I have an active story in there. It hasn't been seen yet, so I can click that, or I can go up here as well, but let's just give this a click. View story. That's my story from earlier today. Oh, so it's not up yet. Okay, so it might take a little bit of time to upload, but it will be there on Facebook as well. Um, if this has been helpful, let me know in the comments. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know as well. All right, well, thank you for joining me. Until next time, bye.